Guys, we have to do better. This area, we have to do better. Another litter of puppies with Corvo. And Coccidia, both. And this litter started off with nine puppies and there are six left. These three are in the worst condition and are currently getting critical care and sub-Q fluids. Um, it is very slim chances that they will all make it, um, if any. But I'm going to do absolutely everything that I can to try and help them to survive. Um, but this is such a nasty virus for these babies to have to face. And what sucks is that it is 100% preventable if these dogs were vaccinated. And also, look at that cute little face. If people in Southeast Texas would spay and neuter their pets so that we don't end up with all of these stray and unwanted puppies who come into this world and experience such suffering. And some of them, like a lot of the Parvo puppies we've had in the past that did not survive, all they know their entire life is suffering. And it is sucks for them and for us in rescue that are trying to save them we need your help by spaying and neutering your pets please and please stop going to places like walmart and putting your puppies on the ground when you're giving them away don't step in the grass there at Walmart where people give puppies away because nine times out of ten, they end up with parvo because that ground is covered in parvo. And even if you get it on your shoes and then take it into your house or into the yard and area where your puppies then are, you have now exposed your puppies to Parvo. So please stop giving away the dogs at Walmart and in roadside areas. Also, because nine times out of ten, I'm not saying that everyone who grabs a free puppy from Walmart does not take care of it and get it vetted or spayed and neutered, but most of the time they do not. And that same free puppy ends up with puppies and that person ends up right there at the same location giving away puppies or those puppies end up dumped down the road or we have people calling us begging us to take their puppies and we are overwhelmed with dogs and puppies in this area and there are not enough of us in rescue to foster and help every single dog and puppy that we have people reach out to us for. And so the only way that we ever will make any kind of dent in the overpopulation is if people start spaying and neutering their dogs. If you cannot afford to spay and neuter your dogs, don't get them. And if you really want one, the best and cheapest route to go to getting a dog that is fully vetted and spayed is to adopt through a rescue or shelter that adopts them out already fully vetted and spayed. And I can tell you that those adoption fees are maybe a third of the price of what you're going to pay, probably even less than that. It's a third of the price of what you would pay to fully vet a dog, a puppy. So please help us stop this. Stop their suffering by spaying and neutering your pets. It doesn't matter if they are purebred, registered. I drove a gorgeous Great Dane today to meet transport to go to Canada. 
I have taken care of Belgian melon walls. I have taken care of purebred pit bulls, Australian shepherds. We have pugs, we have chihuahuas, Yorkies, Shih Tzus, you name it, we got them in rescue. They come through. So please keep that in mind when you are supporting these backyard breeders and check your local shelters and rescues first because we have more than just your Heinz 57 mixed dogs or mutts as people like to call them and I can tell you most of the time your mutts make the best dogs. So please just keep that in mind and help us help us stop this because it is overwhelming and exhausting.